What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja. Today is the third episode of our nunchuck combination series. Basically, this is my tutorial series where I take cool combinations like this one right here and break them down into digestible chunks so that at the end of a month, you'll be able to do whatever combo I showed pretty awesomely for whatever reason you want to. Maybe it's a, it's a, you know, a talent show. Maybe it's some other thing that I can't think of, but you could just show off if you want to as well. So um, with that said, let's get started. Also subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss when I post the next episode. But with this episode being the third episode, it's going to cover the toss, the big toss in this trick. So you last end it off just like this with your nunchuck over your shoulder. So like I said before in both of the episodes, I believe beforehand, um, you need to know your, your triangle because I reference that a lot. You're going to just start your triangle. That's, that's how it's going to begin, by pulling your nunchuck to your opposite hip. Now, this is when your toss happens. You have to toss it like a helicopter blade. If you look at helicopter blades, they spin horizontally. They don't spin vertically like plane propellers. They, they, they spin like this. So this is how you're going to toss your nunchucks. So when you come to your hip, you're gonna use that momentum to give it a nice spin, just like so. Now the trick is you're gonna to wanna to try and get that spin to just stay in one place. And so to help do that, you're gonna to wanna to flick your wrist that you're tossing with backwards in the opposite direction of the spin outwards, if that makes sense. I know that makes no sense, but I'll show you. Basically, you flick your wrist just like this. Now for your catch, you're gonna reach out with your second hand palm up. It's important that the palm is up because how you catch it can determine how you can do the moves going forward in this combination. Obviously, if you're just doing this trick, you can catch it however you want to. You're an adult or have the permission of an adult, so that's on you. But for this combination, you have to catch it palm up. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you catch it on the handle. You're not gonna to wanna to catch it on the chain for this trick. There are some situations where you may wanna catch it on the train for certain types of tricks, but most often than not, just get in the habit of grabbing that handle. When stop, stop doing what you're doing to me right now. Now, once you catch it with your left hand, you're going to finish a figure eight, starting at the opposite hip, coming to the same side hip, and then over the top, just like so. So when you put it all together, it will look something like that. Now this episode is gonna be a little bit shorter. That's just because you're tossing and I wanna give you some time to make sure you practice just how to get that catch because it looks easy, but I guarantee you, it's not. If anyone gets it on the first try, I would be incredibly surprised. Like if you can get this on the first try without any prior nunchuck knowledge, that I'd be, I'd be incredibly impressed. Like ultimately impressed but for the rest of us who aren't on creative mode um take your time and practice make sure you be safe when you do this because especially if you're using bladed nunchucks this is dangerous and you need to be careful when you do this duh and of course check out the merch down below the merch and website was put together by my lovely wife and if you want to help support the channel you can check it out and maybe maybe even you know grab a shirt or something because because why not but until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out Bugs. <laughs> i can't believe i did that